Hello, and welcome to another Havoc Sons video. What do I have here? Huh. Scam of the century. Um, so they talk about this white van scam. You know what's funny? It was a white van. <laughs> and it was in a gas station parking lot. So basically, nothing good can come out of somebody trying to sell you something out of the back of a van in a parking lot. That should be your first clue. But, you know, I'm kind of techie. I love speakers. I love the whole, I don't know, I, I let myself go just a little bit. And there was this guy, and he said that he had... And you know what's funny is that they back this on the website. If you go to www.pswcinema.com, there's actually a simple web page that talks about their different models. And this is the S3 PSW Cinema. They also say of just a... Everything on here is a lie. They say that they're designed in Denmark, which is not true. Denmark didn't have anything to do with these. They say they're a 5.1 uh, HD home theater system capable of putting out 1500 watts. They have words like HD TV, UHD TV, MP4, all of this crap. They have uh, things on the side. Well, it doesn't really matter because it's all crap. But basically what it says is that the the, well, let me show you. Yeah, how about I do that? Okay, so here's what you get. And if you go on eBay, they uh, fictitiously will list them for seven to $800. But of course, you can list anything on eBay for any price. That doesn't mean anybody's going to buy them, and no one ever does. They just list those. Listing is free. I mean, the scan is perpetrated with a lot of backup to make it seem legit. And the story's always the same. Hey, I've got to close out. You know, we've got these extra speakers. I'll give you a phenomenal deal. Go to your ATM. Let's pump out some money. He wanted, originally he asked for $350. I said that's too much. And I got him down to $140. And even that was way too much based on what I have here. Now, the spec sheet says that, and it's all crap. I mean, a lot of it I couldn't even understand. Like, sensitivity, 88 dB, 1 watt, 1 meter. I, that doesn't make any sense to me. Usually, um, you'll have uh, sensitivity will be your total harmonic distortion. Uh, normal impedance is 4 or 8 ohms. That's crap. You can't run 8 ohms into these. You'll, you'll pop them. These are 4 ohms. They say that they're able to handle 200 watts per speaker. <laughs> Do not put 2 watts per speaker into these because you will pop them. Let's see. Which one did I... I forget which one I... I already opened and it came right out for me. Here it is. Okay, and they seem heavy. Uh, <laughs> but I don't know if you can see. They loaded the back of the cabinet with um, like a putty product, like a very heavy, who knows, it could be sand in there, but this part is very heavy. It's a, it's a putty. It's just for weight. And as you can see, it is a minuscule magnet with a tiny speaker on it. Now, it does have a marking of 8 ohms. If it's 8 ohms, it's probably 1 watt, not 200. The woofer is even more of a scam. It looks all pretty and stuff. You get this big hole but actually when it comes down to it when I opened up the back of it here and I shined a flashlight through it 
What you got was a little TV speaker, probably about twice the size of that inside here. Now, um, the other thing is the voice coil on this is tiny. Uh, the wiring seems to be adequate for this size speaker. Now, I had a, a set of... Uh, it was for a, it was an MP3 player that I bought at Radio Shack. It was the last thing I bought at Radio Shack before they closed. And it had, I swear it had speakers about this size. But the magnet was about twice as big. The voice coil went out about twice as far. And no things sounded great. And I'm trying to think of I think I did a video of it. If I didn't, I'm going to. Because it's an amazing little MP3 player. Or, you know, you, you can plug your... Uh, your Apple, you know, what, you, what we used to call those, my God, I'm drawing a blank on all that stuff. You know, when everybody used to use those uh, iPods, you can plug it right into the sleeve and, put, and pump it out. It'll run on D-cell batteries or house current. And it actually sounded pretty good. And they were speakers probably a little bit bigger than these. Uh, and it's funny, they had about this weight, but <laughs> this is very light. This is very heavy. They have weighted the back of the cabinet to make, make you, and then they also say they're shielded. You can see the magnet is right there. The same with the magnet on there. These are not shielded. Everything on this page is a lie. Everything that the man told me in the white van was a lie. I'm probably certain that he picks these up for probably between $15 and $30 a box, and then sells them, well in my case, $140. But it's funny because there was a guy who had just bought a big screen TV at uh, Costco for $1,600. He also bought the same system, but he paid $250 for his. So he got ripped up even more. They are not powered. They're just plug your wires right into them. The subwoofer is not powered. Plug your wire. And they kind of make this look better by having these professional sound clips, but they're they're uh, they do nothing. I'm not gonna do a close-up of this, but basically this is a wiring diagram, and what it does is it shows you that it plugs directly from the speakers to your amplifier. There's no preamping, no adjusted volume here. There's no remote control. There's no on off. There's no power subwoofer. They're just speakers in a box. And they are apparently going wild. They are all over the country. Uh, these white van scams. You need to be careful. If a white van approaches you in a parking lot and says, I got something to give you at half price, I would start at 20 bucks and see if he just wants to move material. If any of you have ever sold PSW equipment, please contact me. And I will, of course, I will not put your name out. I will not try to get you fired or arrested because very, Honestly, there's very little laws protecting uh, you against this kind of thievery. But I would like to hear from you to let me know what is your cost originally on these fake speakers? It's funny because if you pick them up, they feel heavy. But like I showed you there, the actual speaker weighs nothing. They've weighted it down on the back. And, and this speaker in here, this huge box, the speaker is only about, it's probably double the size of this. And it just goes from there to here. No crossover. There's no subwoofer impedance. Make sure that if you ever use these, you use this with a system that has uh, line voltage going out that's on a very low frequency. I, but I don't even know if the speaker would handle it. Anyway. Be careful. They're out there. They're lying. None of this is true. 
These are cheap speakers in weighted down boxes. PSW designed in Denmark is really just a, uh, a scam. Oh, you get this pouch with speaker wire that is probably paper thin. And I doubt that there's ever any copper in there. So be aware the PSW scam is out there and it is horrible. Like always, have a great day and a better life. Remember to do more of what makes you hap happy. Happy. Like, don't buy these. That would make you happy. <laughs> See ya.